Good morning, Panthers. Welcome back to CCV2. I hope you had a wonderful week. This is Suzanne Bezos and Mikey Ryan bringing, bringing Charter's latest to you. you. Seniors, don't forget to turn in your senior bios and baby pictures. This week is Spirit Week, so be sure to dress up every day. Sixth graders, your ice cream social is tomorrow, so we hope you have a blast. High schoolers, listen up. Whenever you post a picture or a video on social media, please hashtag CSCSHOCO2015. And here's CSPN with Matt Horn. JV and varsity volleyball teams competed against North Broward Prep this past week. JV girls coming out with the W. Don't forget to come out and support your Coral Spring Charter Panthers at home this Thursday against Chaminade at 5.30. Varsity football remained undefeated with another victory over Calvary Christian Academy last week. The Fending State champions struggled to find any success on either side of the ball. Varsity and JV football both with winning records this season. Here are some highlights from this past Friday's game in your varsity Coral Spring Charter Panthers. How has last week's victory been a springboard for the rest of the season? Well, I hope it is one. I think, uh, you know, we're the first time in school history we've been 5-0. and That was a big win for us. And, uh, you know, just beating a team that beat us in championship last year, I think, gives the, the, the team overall just confidence in the rest of the year. And, and it should be, hopefully it is a, a positive springboard for us. Thank you to Coach Miller. Don't forget to come out and support the football team as well as this year's 2015 homecoming court. Swimming team is doing very well and having a record of 2-2 two and two for the boys and girls. Keep going, Panthers. Now let's send it over to Nicole with Charter's very own cross-country star, Lachlan Shiver. Here with Lachlan Shiver. So Lachlan, since you're such a good runner, why don't you tell us what you're thinking about when you're running? Uh, well, I think of a lot of things when I'm running. Uh, it really depends on what type of run it is. There are the long runs, the easy ones during practice, and there are the races. And so during the long runs, they can be as much as like 90 minutes. And I just like thinking about life, you know, you know, just let the stress out. So Lachlan, tell me, what are your expectations for the upcoming meet? Uh, well, Tuesday we have the city championships. Uh, hopefully I can get first. I probably should at least make top three. Uh, there are some good, really, really good guys in the uh, city right now. But uh, I think I can tough it out and hopefully I can come home with uh, gold. What is some advice that you want to give someone who wants to start running? You got to start little by little. You can't, you can't let one race get you down. And uh, I think more importantly is you got to realize that track and cross country are, is the, are the two types of sports that you can really get good at if you just train. Thank you. Tuning out, Nicole from CSPN. Thanks for watching CSPN. This is Matt Horn signing off. Hi, I'm Vincent Scheib. I'm in the eighth grade, and I'm a very good actor, and I can do a really good impression of a guy with a British accent. Go Vincent. You know, I think I'm coming down with a bit of a cold. You know, my throat's really scratchy, my nose is getting stuffed up, and I've been coughing a lot. <laughs> Welcome back to Worldwide News. I'm Kayla. On September 27th, a NASA rover discovered liquid water on Mars. Scientists say that some possible causes could be a liquid aquifer or the melting of the subsurface ice. Along with the water, methane gas was found on the surface of Mars in frozen puddles of water at the poles. Because of these findings, some scientists say it's possible that Mars could have enough habitable conditions to support life. We asked local science teacher Buddy Fisher what he had to say about the news. So, Mr. Fisher, what does the possibility of us living on Mars mean to us on Earth? Um, the possibility for us to live on Mars, I believe, is pretty good. Um, I think we could be able to terraform it after a certain amount of years. Um, 
it also could help us spread out the human race a little bit and be our first steps into the stars pretty much. Um, so. And how long do you think it'll take before we actually have a mission to Mars? Um, probably about 30 or 40 years. You'll have to collect the, the amount of resources they'll need to take with them, the people that are willing to give up their lives to actually go and stuff like that. Would you be one of those people? I would definitely be willing to go to Mars. Sounds great. Hi, I'm AJ Callahan with Ms. Poirier. Hi, I'm Ms. Poirier. So, what exactly is this lab you've been doing? So, uh, over the last two days we've been doing a lab in Earth space on paleontology. And basically, I'm having the students pretend that they're paleontologists, that they're digging at a rock site and extracting fossils. Kangaroo. <laughs> Monkey. <laughs> Sloth. Um. A shark. <laughs> uh, a fish. <laughs> a, pl a platypus. <laughs> no. Um. What's the rat? The over the hedge thing. The <laughs> The, uh, oh shoot, the hedgehog, the, the thing, please said, the thing with the, over the head, the, the, it starts with the P, po, the po, a possum, the possum. Hello, my name is Joshua Gonzalez. I'm a senior here, and I play both Aiden and Dalton in the show Ashland Falls, uh, We Lit. The second act of Ashland Falls actually takes place in the 1800s. So for act two, we really get a chance to like experiment with really cool period clothing and settings, and it's just like, it's really fun because it's like something a little bit out of the ordinary from your typical high school play. Come see Ashland Falls! October 22nd to the 24th at 7 p.m. Good morning, Panthers. I'm Johnny. And I'm Sander. Happy Spirit Week! Public service announcement. You guys might as well not even show up. The seniors are gonna dominate. Calm down there, Sander. Juniors are on their way to becoming champions. Hey, how about them freshmen? On the floor. Now, here's to Christina with some weekly projections for Spirit Week. <laughs> Who do you think's gonna win? I'm voting number one will be seniors. I think the ninth graders are gonna take second place. I think the tenth graders are still kind of excited to be in high school, so they'll take third. I think the eleventh graders are gonna be last. First place, seniors. Second place, freshmen. Third place, our juniors. It was kind of tight between the juniors and sophomores. But they gave the edge to the fourth place. Our fourth place our group is our sophomores. I think the sophomores are going to win because they're farmers, and we can't live without farmers. Then seniors, juniors, and freshmen. One note: no more schedule changes. <laughs> well, since I am one of the senior sponsors, and we are Marvel, uh, I must say that we are probably favored to win it all. So I just asked Ms. Grant which class she thinks was going to win at Bubble Soccer on Wednesday and she responded, what's Bubble Soccer? Is her prediction on who she thinks is going to win? I think the seniors will win and then we'll take the um, freshmen, then the sophomores and then the juniors are going to take last. Who do you think is going to win Spirit Week overall in order from fourth place to first place? Okay, so since this is the fourth take, I really do believe, however, that when Fourth place, we're going with fourth place now. The juniors are going to take fourth. In third place, I'm going with the sophomores. 
in second place. I'm going to give it to those pesky freshmen because I think they can do it. And in first place, I got to stick with the scene. So, Miss Webb, what was your senior bio? I did not have a senior bio in my high school yearbook. But don't you wish they did? I sure do. It would be nice to look back on it now. So, Miss Shawnee, what was your senior bio? Um, we didn't have senior bios when I uh, graduated many moons ago. Don't you wish you did? I do, because then I would be able to go back and look at that if I could find my yearbook. So, Mrs. Poirier, what was your senior bio? My senior bio, which we called Senior Quotes, was We are all made of stardust, the children of eternity, caught in a moment, one moment of time. And I know you told me that it was kind of dorky, but would you have regretted not putting anything at all? I definitely would have regretted not putting something. Um, I think it's important to leave that little that little piece of yourself back there. You may not open your yearbook for 10 years or 20 years, but when you do, it brings back all the memories, so I highly recommend leaving a senior bio. Senior bios and senior tributes are a once in a lifetime opportunity. Don't forget your deadlines. October 16th for your senior bios and baby pictures, and January 30th for your senior tributes. Nobody wants to be erased in time. Well, this is a little segment we like to call advice. Advice. Spell advice. A D F I V I C S E. You know. <laughs> All right. First question of the day, though. Hey, check this out, though. My name, check this out, though. But check this out, though. I want to ask this boy to homecoming. Well, this is from a girl, I assume. <laughs> I want to ask this boy to homecoming, but I'm scared he's going to say no. What can I do? Hey guys, I'm back, and I have something special to ask someone. Madison Belvere, will you please walk outside of your first period? Thank you so much for tuning in to CTV2. This is Suzanne Bezos. And Mikey Ryan. Bringing Charters Latest to you. you.